Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It is. Oh yeah, you can tell, man. It is Friday. It is about damn time. It's been a hell of a few days. Years from now, we'll look back on this week and think, hey, when do we get the results of the Iowa caucus? <laughs> so many huge things happened in the past six days. I'm getting them all mixed up. I'm pretty sure that Mitt Romney was acquitted of awarding the Medal of Freedom to Shakira's sparkly short shorts. Something like that. The pull down. This week, what we go? We all endured Trump's State of the Union. Mm. Not all of us, because the speech's TV ratings were down 21% from last year. Which means if he does it again next year, he's gonna have to pull some TV gimmicks to rope in viewers. So get ready for Young Union. <laughs> the state of our union is Bazinga. <laughs> but now that the GOP has covered up Trump's crimes, it's up to the voters to get rid of that guy. And I'll give you the latest. <laughs> yep. Do your duty. Hype. Got a vote. I said duty. Everybody's very hyped to do that. I did. And I'll give you the latest in tonight's edition of. You, off the board. I'll come up and drag you off. A progressive agenda. Why the hell do they like Trump? Fury Road to the White House 2020. With the story. <laughs> it. I like it. Witness me! Steyer is cut, man. Steyer looks good. <laughs> it took a long time to sort out what happened at the Iowa caucus, but it looks like it's finally almost settled. I'm sorry, chair of the DNC, you were saying? Enough is enough. In light of the problems that have emerged, I am calling on the Iowa Democratic Party to immediately begin a re-canvas. What? No! <laughs> Iowa once was enough. This is the worst reboot idea since Little Women 2, The Revenge of Zombie Beth. <laughs> Watch out, Marmy, she's coming back for her piano. <laughs> now, whether they re-canvas or not, the big winners in Iowa were Bernie Sanders and Pete Buttigieg, <laughs> and they're leading in New Hampshire, too. They're leading in New Hampshire, too, so the Trump campaign's gonna have to come up with a whole new strategy. Hello, Ukraine. I know I just escaped impeachment, but... I need you to do me a favor, though. <laughs> Is there any chance you guys could find a Hunter Buttigieg? <laughs> Hello? The Iowa results were rough for Joe Biden. He finished fourth with only 15.8%. He made a big mistake when he attacked Iowa's state mascot. Corn Pop was a bad dude. Biden's fourth place finish was a tough blow to his campaign, but this week in New Hampshire, he told voters this. As my mother would say, hope springs eternal, pal. We're not giving up, right? Not, not giving up. This is only the second state. <laughs> You're already on hope springs eternal? That's like being 10 minutes into a hike and saying, what do you say we eat Luke first? He's single, no one's gonna miss him. He's already sweaty and salty. He seasoned himself. Let's do it. Come on, let's do this thing. Oh, man. Slow it up. I'm vegetarian. But Biden also recognizes how bad this looks. I am not going to sugarcoat it. We took a gut punch in Iowa. The whole process took a gut punch. But look, uh, this isn't the first time in my life I've been knocked down. Why, just today on the walk over here, some maniac wrestled me to the ground. Later turned out to be the windbreaker I was trying to put on. <laughs> He's a bad dude. Biden is so optimistic that at a CNN town hall, Biden explained what he's looking for in a vice president. As vice president, I think it would be wonderful to have a woman or a person of color as vice president. But the most important thing I've learned from my relationship with Barack, with I call him Barack, not president, because I don't want to con confuse him with the president. Did you notice how subtly Biden inserts Obama <laughs> into every possible answer? Uh, sir, do you want fries with that? No, but you know who loves fries? My friend Barack Obama loves fries. He used to say to me, Joe, he called me Joe. 
He used to say to me, Joe, he called me Joe because he didn't want to confuse me with Vice President John C. Calhoun. Anyway, he'd say, Joe, <laughs> Joe, these are some tasty fries. You'd make a tasty president, like me, Joe Biden's friend, Barack Obama. <laughs> Biden's poor performance is pure gold for one of his rivals, former New York City mayor and iguana refusing to do the trick during the animal show, <laughs> Mike Bloomberg. Bloomberg has been running an unconventional campaign by skipping the early states and hoping for the collapse of other leading campaigns, most crucially, Joe Biden's. Really makes Bloomberg seem like a nice guy. Oh, yes, Joe, yes. <laughs> Oh, do tie yourself shaking the hands of the paupers as I watch from my glittering tower high above the city. Soon, soon I shall be the ones kissing those penniless babies in arms and supping upon the appled pies. Me, relatable everyman, Mike, Michael Bloomberg. <laughs> Wentworth to the velocicopter! He has. He can fly a helicopter. Oh, he has he a helicopter. He flies that. That's interesting. Money. Bloomberg's going all in on his plan because he just told his team to double his spending on television commercials. How? How can he do that? He's already on TV all the time. <laughs> At this point, he'll have to buy ad space in other people's commercials. <laughs> Get another tub in there. Scrub him off. <laughs> now... Joe Biden's going to have trouble swallowing this next one, but this, what I'm about to show you, is Mike Bloomberg's actual latest commercial. He's been a leader throughout the country for the past 12 years. Mr. Michael Bloomberg is here. Leadership in action. Mayor Bloomberg and President Obama worked together in the fight for gun safety laws to improve education and to develop innovative ways to help teens gain the skills needed to find good jobs. Wow. I think Bloomberg's strategy is just steal every other candidate's thing. <laughs> I believe the top 10th of the top 10% have too much power, but as mayor of South Bend, Indiana, I have a plan for that. It involves my dog, Bailey, who's going to give you $1,000 a month. Now let's bring out my husband, Chastin. I'm Michael Yanberg, Warren Booty, and Barack Obama approved this message. <laughs> but... But... Biting everybody's style, man. Come on. But Trump's not worried about 2020 right now. Instead, Trump is laser focused on the real enemy, New York. Trump and his administration goons have been mad at New York State ever since they passed a law that allows undocumented immigrants to obtain driver's licenses. And Trump believes they should only be able to get marriage licenses. So. <laughs> so. So, the administration came up with a way to stick it to its own citizens by blocking New Yorkers from enrolling in Global Entry, a travel program which allows approved participants faster passage through security at airports. That is the cruelest punishment imaginable. More time in Newark. <laughs> on the plus side, on the plus side, I'll say this. That does mean more time for me to finish my Cadoba nachos inside the lactation privacy pod. <laughs> For am I not a child at heart suckling on the nacho teat? <laughs> Be out in a minute. I'm having trouble latching on. <laughs> the announcement was dropped on us last night by acting Homeland Security Secretary and name that a wolf pretending to be a human would call itself <laughs> Chad Wolf. It is I, Chad Wolf. A man who loves human things like cooked food. And standing. <laughs> Chad Wolf sees something on your neck. Come closer to Chad Wolf. <laughs> There's also news about first son Don Jr., seen here delivering his crowd pleasing catchphrase <laughs> The. <laughs> my favorite. That's my favorite joke to me. <laughs> A hunting organization has just announced that they will be auctioning off a dream hunt with Donald Trump Jr. Wow. I mean, should that even be legal? I mean, he's the president's son. I don't think that's... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I thought that's different. I did... Yo, hunt with, hunt with. That seems much... That's much more sense. Yes, makes more sense. 
Because the other thing was wrong. Wrong. No, it's not him. Not good. It's no. Turns out what you're actually bidding on is an Alaska yacht based Sitka black tailed deer hunt with Donald Trump Jr. That's too many things. <laughs> That's too many things in one thing. You got to keep it simpler for Don Jr. He'd be just as happy whipping light bulbs at an old van in the woods. <laughs> Eric, go stand by the van. I don't want to. Stand by the van, you butt face. Come on. Catch it. <laughs> Don Jr. isn't the only, let's say, celebrity the winner gets to see. There's also a performance from the Beach Boys. I, for one, cannot wait to hear Don Jr. singing along. Wouldn't it be nice to kill a mammal from the comfort of a fancy yacht? And wouldn't it be nice if my dad would hug me? I guess I'll hug the deer that I just shot. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. James Taylor is back. Sweet baby James. But when we come back, how about some Meanwhile? Would you like some Meanwhile?